this cat and house game even has actress Bo Derrick saying, who loves you, babe? It might not look it, but Oregon authorities say this woman is running one of the biggest illegal cat houses in the country. And of all people, Bo Derrick is coming to her defense. I hope that, that nothing, you know, bad comes of all this. I know she's more sorry than anyone. Say here, kitty kitty, to Babe, a beautiful 400-pound tiger who shares the home of former Hollywood actress Dee Arlen. Here's your kitty. Play with your kitty. For the past eight years, Dee, Babe, and Scotty here have peacefully coexisted in her Grants Pass, Oregon home. That is, until accidentally spooked That's by our cameraman. They, they yes. Well, there went a few things. You can see she Dee takes it all in stride. Way. After all, she's raised Babe from a cub. Yeah, she says, well, now I want my mama to just scratch me. That's what I like, just that scratching. But this former actress's next role will be in front of a county judge to decide if she and Babe can continue their living arrangement. I never bothered anybody. I don't drink and smoke. I don't go anywhere. And I see no reason for them to have me for their scapegoat. You see, the problem began last October when Babe escaped through a damaged fence and decided to take a stroll of the Oregon countryside. Although once you get to know her, she's really just an overgrown pussycat. When word got out that a tiger was on the loose, just about everyone from around these parts who's ever seen a Rambo movie grabbed a rifle and headed out to the hunt. It hurt very much because I knew that they were chasing her. And the more they chased her, the more she was going to hide. They never did see her, George, never. For nine days, police and National Guardsmen hunted the loose tiger. After several false sightings, Babe meekly returned home. But now the cat was out of the bag, so to speak, as Dee was charged with harboring an exotic pet without a permit, which carries a fine and possible jail time. But worse than that, Babe may now have to go. The law is the law. We can't look the other way, particularly when the animals escaped. But Dee fears Babe, who has been raised as a house cat her whole life in Dee Claude, would not be able to survive a zoo and may have to be destroyed. If I have to, I'll put her down. But I won't let somebody have her and mistreat her or sell her by a pound. Word of Dee's dilemma has spread back to her Hollywood roots. Here in Santa Inez, California, right up the road from Michael Jackson's place, Bo Derrick says she's committed to helping out her longtime friend. There are some people who live for their animals, and I don't think they live very well without them, if at all. Dee's tiger is a pet. It's, it's not a wild animal that's going to get loose and go kill everything inside. It, it would have done it. It was out nine days, wasn't it? Yeah. So it would have happened. Why don't you just let her keep the cat? The law's a law. We have to enforce the law, and uh, she has no permit yet. Oh, babe. Now you behave. You don't act like that just because somebody's here. To qualify for a permit, Dee has to construct an eight-foot fence around her entire home. Only most of her Social Security checks now go to keeping Babe well-fed. I have no money left. None. But now Dee has growled back and filed a half-million-dollar lawsuit against the county, claiming a back injury when an animal control worker allegedly roughed her up, something she immodestly insisted on sharing with me and my crew. Son of a bitch. That's more of a uh, thing that we would not want to uh, talk about today. So for now, there's not much good news to report. Dee is heartbroken. The animal control guys say their hands are tied. Matter of fact, the only good thing to come out of this whole mess so far is that I got to meet Bo Derrick. She's given up everything for her, her tiger. Now they want to take him away. Yeah, now that'd be really a really shame. So Dee awaits her upcoming court date, hoping that she won't have to say goodbye to the most important and loyal friend in her life. Now my little it's come to the end. I guess you know which neighbor I value as a friend. Dee's got some pretty famous support, but we want to know if you're in her kitty corner, and you can cast your vote in tonight's phone poll. If you think Dee should be allowed to keep her tiger, call 1-800-541-6201. And if you think she shouldn't be allowed to keep Babe, call 1-800-541-6202. We'll let you know the results tomorrow.